Vera, so mother-in-law's tongue, would have been something that they'd have probably grown. And also Boston ferns as well, which are just beautifully architectural plants. And I think that would be quite lovely in a 1930s themed sitting room. I think we've filled your room for you, Kate. Plenty to go out there. Now, if you uh, called our programme from the House of Lords a few weeks ago, and don't worry if you didn't, because of course we're all available to listen to on BBC Sounds, um, you'll have heard our panel discuss the best ways of keeping your nails clean uh, when gardening. And the GKT list there is clearly impeccably well turned out, with pristine personal hygiene, because we've had a huge number of emails from you sharing your own tips. And one that keeps cropping up is this one from, among many others, Hilary Woodall in Dorset, who says, try pulling your nails down a dryish bar of soap so that the soap lodges under your nails. It should prevent dirt getting in so deep under the nails and can be washed or nail brushed out after gardening. Right, come on, get your hands out, panel. I want to see how, you, how your nails are doing. They are actually, they're yeah. looking remarkably, like remarkably clean. It's like I do no gardening at all. So what's your tips? Yeah, you're obviously not doing enough. But and they're all short. We've all none of us have got talons, and I think that's a lot of it. So I could not get a talon. You know, they'd just be worn down. <laughs> sadly. Yeah, I've I've taken to wearing gloves as well, only because in the winter my hands would just get so rough, um, being in the soil and then getting wet. So now I wear gloves, and my nails are in much better condition. I'm very rare. I I don't feel that I get. So. You have cosmetic <laughs> surgery on You've heard we were coming. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've been down the nail bar, yeah. haven't you? I think we've got to have two nail brushes. Either, well, for me, one in the kitchen and one in the bathroom, because that's the only way. Like, every time I wash my hands, I've got to do it. Assistance. Because it's embarrassing when you've got to shake someone's hand and it's all kind of, like, brown and filled with cracks and stuff like that. I know some gardeners take it as... A sort of a, a sign of badge status. Of yeah, badge of honor. Like you've done so much gardening, but it is. I, I once had to uh, shake some very um, fancy people's hands at Chelsea Flower Show. When someone gives you a white gloved hand <laughs> <laughs> and you're handing over a muddy one, it is a little bit embarrassing. Well, I think this is one that's going to run and run. This glove, no gloves uh, debate is one that keeps rattling on down the centuries, I think. Uh, so in Manchester, we've got some delays on the A57, that is a Mancunian Way, heading outbound from Ancoats to Salford. The car has broken down on the M6, going north from Junction 22 for Newton and Willow to Junction 23 for the Haydock turning. One lane closed there and some queues. We've also got some queues and long delays. From Junction 18, that is a Middlewich turn off to Junction 21 for Wollstead. We've got some queues and some long delays on the M60 heading anti clockwise. That's from Junction 20 for the A627 Rochdale to Junction 16 for the Pendlebury turn off. Accident investigation work has closed Island Brow, that's in St Helens for Hewitt Road to Hinkley Road. And it's slow on the M60 clockwise from Junction 8 the Carrington turn off. We've given you a name. 
58229-1998-06WC. Bit of a mouthful, and sorry about the WC, it's not a great surname. Though not as bad as the boy in my form at school whose surname was Skidmore, and who spent five years being called Skidmark, sometimes by teachers when they weren't thinking. 58229-1998-06WC. And the word Skidmore into Google, it'll take you to a website where you can track your current whereabouts in orbit. Uh, just now you are two six. Wow, right over the middle of the Pacific. Then there's a, a big red squiggly line indicating your future flight path across the globe, like on those big screens in Goldeneye. You're just approaching a Manu, an atoll in French Polynesia. Sounds nice. How's the view? Not that you can see it, of course. Being a bag with no eyes. Thank you.